Hello and welcome back to Dutchman Seb. So without further ado, let's take a walk through the build and see uh, what we have in store for us over the next couple of weeks. As we are nearing the end of the build we did a lot of progress today to get everything ready to fire up so let's have a look and see what is in the car so we have now got a mission motor radiator we've also installed the airco condenser and radiator back in the front here as well and we have got uh, some new brakes drilled and slotted rotors with the calipers um, we need to still put on the caliper in front there but this is the bracket braided lines we've also got all the tie rods replaced tire ends are replaced all the split pins have been installed uh, bottom as well and inside the car we've got a dash so look at that there's a dashboard sitting in the car now carpets are in center console mid console Bring you through to the other side. So check out that. Dashboard is sitting in with the steering wheel. And we need to just tie up all the cabling and all the ECUs and put it in the chair. And then we're pretty much ready to go. So it's looking what we're still waiting for our wheels to come back from the wheel shop. So I've got a surprise for those. Hopefully they come out as I hope they would. We've installed the US JDM spec windshield washer fluid bottle so that should hopefully clear the fender now this is a bit smaller than the one we had from the EU spec they've also um, done the height adjustment for the uh, suspension just temporarily until we have the wheels to see the height we want to do in the car uh, we've also connected the accelerator cable now so it's all being connected to the internet manifold the car is now in, the dash is in, so the window can go in now. And then it's pretty much a good car. So I'm really excited and really happy with the progress that's been done today. So uh, I hope you are too. Stay tuned and definitely hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so coming back to the list, we have got the wiring harness on the interior still needing to be connected up to the ECUs. And this list is pretty much done. So we've also connected the SRS unit there under the dash. And uh, we need to bleed the brake still. So just going to circle that one there so we don't forget it. And we still need to put oil in the car but that's on the engine side. All right, so here we've got oil that needs to go in. Uh, tire rod ends went on today. Those went off. Uh, let's see, OEM control arms were in. Uh, the orient sway bar was in sorry and let's see the exhaust still needs to be custom fitted uh, i've done done the doors so we have doors completed ready to go back in the car so you can see there the handles in also been painted it's ready to go back in seats need to go in course and the window with the radio that's pretty much it and this is an added bonus <laughs> all right so we're coming to the end of the build you're getting ready to fire up all right so we are fitting the exhaust in fact the exhaust has been put on header is connected the race cat is connected and our jay's racing sus 60 rs twin or jewel they call it uh, stainless steel with titanium tip exhaust has been fitted everything is in the car fluids oils and we are ready to go we have primed the oil yesterday and we managed to get oil pressure so today we've put in the spark plugs and the coil packs and we're ready to go for a first start so let's have a look and see what happened uh, stay tuned 
all right so everything's ready to go we're going to try and see if we can fire it up we've got the uh, coil packs on we've got the spark plugs in we had already oil pressure cranking it a few times we have the fuel relay working and i hear the fuel pump priming so that's good go. this is the very first crank so probably we have to crank it a couple of times to get fuel pressure and to get the start so let's see what happens It's a good sign. Almost. Wow, almost. Oh, there we go. Third crank. Third crank, it goes on. That was pretty quick. Yeah, but it's not on four cylinders. Yeah, I can hear it's misfiring a bit, yeah. I had but a shell. It started. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Yeah, I had a shell, so let me read it. Let's see what the check engine light's going to give us. But it started, and <laughs> that's really cool. So after three years, first start in three years, all the wiring had to be redone, the whole dash had to be redone, the whole chassis. So we had a lot of work that went into this car and this project. And uh, you can see there's still a lot of um, fine tuning we have to look at and see what's happening. But this is part of the build process, project cars, eh? And then, All right, um, so uh, we fired it up one time and we heard a bit of an inconsistent uh, running and we tried different coil packs and they all uh, seem to be okay actually. And we just removed the belt for now because the AC uh, compressor seemed to be making a bit of noise. And without it now, if you start it up, we can hear it run. Sounds pretty good actually. Sounds really good actually. Jade Racing Floor sounds really nice. Yeah, thanks, Don. Alright, we've got the headlamps in the car and we're gonna see if they work. Hit it. One, two. Yes, that one's working. And that one's giving an issue because there's no bulb in it, but this one's working. Projectors are on. Let's try the indicator. No, it doesn't work because there's no switch. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we haven't got a we haven't got a bulb for this side, so the projector on this side we need to get a bulb. But this one's working. Okay. At the daytime running lights, I don't see working. So here we've got daytime running lights at the top, but I don't see those on. So we'll check it out. All right, so we checked the fuse boxes. We had one blown fuse for the left side headlamp and one blown fuse for the uh, city lights, so let's see. Turn it on, Don. Whoa, look at that. We've got some beautiful angel eyes, some daytime running lights, and then for the headlamps. So we still need to get a bulb for here, but look at that. Beautiful projectors. So, yeah, there's the head, the main beams, high beams, and both sides are working. Beautiful. Damn nice. Right, Don, what have you got for us? Fire it up, baby. Fired up. Beautiful, man. So we actually changed the belt to delete the AC pump because the AC pump is making quite a bit of noise. So. Um, Hopefully now without the AC running it runs much better because the AC bulb with the with the AC pump was making a lot of noise. So I think the AC pumps had its days. And those things are hella expensive to replace. So for now we're gonna go with no AC. But uh, one of the days maybe we'll, we'll fix it up. But for now I'm happy it's running. Good to go. It's been a hard couple of weeks and uh, Don's hard at work. And happy man with his progress. Happy it's running. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. And no check engine line. So that's great. Oh, there's an idling going down again now. Yeah, dropping an idling. Yeah. First time it's run, uh, yeah, we've had it running like for 10 seconds maybe. We're curious if we're going to get any exhaust leaks from the header. After bending the header, we know that it wasn't quite flat anymore. So we're hoping it's seated quite nicely. Otherwise, we could have exhaust leaks in the header. Mm 
you feel it? Careful, hold up. Yeah, you feel it? It's turning gold, you see it? Yeah. I don't feel any air leaking out. It's already turning gold. Yeah, you can see the heat uh, changing the color of the header. The first time running it in, it's going to be colored. Gold, blue, purple. Surprise, it turns quickly, yeah. yeah. John's got a little tool, heat gun, to measure the heat coming out of each header. Hundred and seventeen degrees, hundred and twelve degrees, hundred and thirty. Hundred and fifteen, eighteen, quite even. Two and three a little bit more than the last one. On the Soon the three is quite warm. Yeah. Like it's throwing like kidding now, eh? Yeah. She's on 10. Wet for smoother. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice to get gold bolts rotating yeah. in the middle there. <laughs> on a water pump fully. Beautiful. Yeah, Don built some good engines here. So S2000 specialist, Don from Delta Lima Engineering. You can see here it's just S2000s. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna end the video here today after starting the engine for the first time. Successful fire up, no leaks, and everything seems to be running smooth after doing a few small changes. So we're gonna go through the list and see what we've done today. So we installed the engine oil. We successfully started the engine, woo -hoo! Yes, we installed the headlamps. So you can see beautiful headlamps with nice angel eyes. We got that in. We installed the exhaust, so that's temporarily. We still need to have custom welding to fit it to the bumper. I'll show you that later on. We've installed the shifter. We have to first put the seats in tomorrow. We're also getting a window tomorrow. So we're getting a window tomorrow. And this is for the doors. These are done. So that's done. Doors are done. So. F-U-C-K 100 times, that is done. Smiley face, yay. Whoop, whoop. So I think that brings us to the end of the build series. You can see the car is done. We still need to put on the body kit. And that's all gonna go back to the guys at Next Level Automotive, where they're going to install the Spoon Sports hardtop. And then they're going to polish the car and detail it and do all the body fitment and the alignment to make sure that the body kit is really good and well seated but it just come together beautifully you can see we ran the engine for about 10 minutes the head is nicely colored now as well beautifully gold and all the fluids are in no leaks we've got the center console in just check out that beautiful delta lima engineering shifter and uh we've got some panels here and some trims i also managed to get the trims around here into the car the trims around here into the car so a bit of cutting and molding we managed to get the dashboard in as well so we had to do a bit of cutting and molding around there to get the dashboard to fit so really surprising of how it all got together and it all fitted so it looks beautiful down here again pedals wiring harness tidied up ecus and yeah we just need to get the lock fitted in the trunk and then the trunk can close and then yeah we need to remove the exhaust again to get the bumper on and then we can uh, trailer it to uh, next level so yeah, it's really, really been a beautiful series and I'm happy that we got to this point. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you liked the video and the content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and uh, definitely subscribe below for more content. Thanks again for watching and for supporting us. For now, peace out until next time.